right, I'm going to do an update here on Miss Coco, who's now been with us about two weeks, and she's out and about in group living, um, which means that she has the opportunity to interact with other cats during the day. Um, she pretty much stays to herself. I think she'd be fine with a laid-back, easy-going male cat. She's not going to want a cat that's going to jump on her, bother her, chase her, pester her, insist she play, etc. She's a little bit of a meatloaf type kitty, but very, very sweet. Um, in the first video I may have mentioned she had a little growth under her tongue, which we had biopsied, and that was uh, negative for um, any kind of carcinoma, so that's a, a great thing, just a, a viral issue that's resolving itself. Um, all of her habits are very good. She's not an active scratcher. She's a, just a very, very sweet, laid-back female um, chocolate point girl. Her blood values are good. Her thyroid is normal. There's no medical issues. She's had a dental. She had one extraction, um, so her teeth weren't bad. And she's just a very easygoing, sweet girl. Um, you can see her looking here at Squeaks, who's above her. You know, she'll give a hiss. Um, again, she just doesn't really want to be pestered. She wants, excuse me, wants to just chill and hang out. But a lovely cat, and she's ready to go. She'd do best in a quieter home. Someone who wants a not too intense but nice, sweet cat who's not going to be super active, who's in good health with good habits, um, and who's a fairly easy keeper. And the only thing I would say is we want to make sure she's not overfed because she could slim down just a little bit and we don't want her to get any heavier.